These two teenagers are unironically evil people. Just flat out evil people. There's no other way to look at this. These are the two teenagers. One was 17 at the time of the incident. One was 16 who ran into the retired police officer on a bike and killed him laughing the whole time on their viral video. And now these assholes are in court laughing it up between the two of them and even uh, putting the middle finger up towards these folks, the family of the bicyclist who ended up dying in this case. And you really have to wonder, is there even a penalty that you can think of that is enough for these two? Because it truly is evil personified. I don't know why stuff like this happens, why we have these kind of teenagers in our society. Is it the fact that some of these more progressive cities are being too light on crime and these kids know? Revolving door. I'm just going to get out there and do it again. But this is the kind of behavior that they engage in. Check this out. These guys, they did not respect the court whatsoever. They were just f***ing around the entire time. Taylor and Crystal Probst expected a brief and simple hearing. This is a family right there, and these are the two teenagers who did this. And you'll just see them laughing at each other. Setting a trial date for the two teens accused of murdering their father and husband. Instead, they got Look this. It. They were flipping us off. How are you, can you sit there after taking a man's life and act like such an entitled the Yes. Say <laughs> yes. Sarella and Jameer Keys attempting to intimidate them in court. The duo is charged with murdering 64-year-old Andy Probst. That's exactly what they are, entitled little assholes. And I cannot believe that there's not a moment here where they can be smart enough or be sensible enough to realize, damn, we screwed up big time here. We're going to face some actual charges and we should probably get it together. Some of those charges that they're facing come from this grand jury indictment of Jesus Ayala, who is now 18 years old. He was 17 at the time of the incident. And Yasmir Keys, who is 16 years old and was 16 when this whole thing happened, where they hit this 72-year-old man on a bike and killed him. Uh, some of the worst people on planet Earth, anybody would agree, I think. And it wasn't just one thing that they did. It wasn't just this incident where they hit this uh, 72-year-old cyclist and he ended up dying. It was, uh, or they ended up killing him, I should say. No, he didn't just end up dying. It was also another guy that they hit on a bicycle who was seriously injured. There was several robberies that took place um, in a, like a high-speed chase. Many different things that they did in a very short period of time. And the whole time, they seemed like they didn't care. Like, they weren't worried about getting in trouble. In fact, there's a report from Fox 5 with the new footage of uh, the body cam. And this is pretty interesting. I'll show you this. This is from inside the police cruiser where you can hear this teenager saying, like, you know, is it really that serious? Is this really that big of a deal? Here he is. Is it really that serious? Yeah, it is. Like, for real? Yeah. Over supposedly me crashing a car. It's a lot worse than that. Huh? It's a lot worse than that. He denies it the a whole different time. perspective tonight on the day there police he is. arrested a Las Vegas teenager for deliberately running down two cyclists, one of whom would not survive. There's some more body cam footage from inside this police car I want you to see. And it really just it shows you the character of these evil teenagers. And I think you cannot put them in jail long enough. They laughed as they killed a, a man who was doing nothing. He was riding his bicycle. They thought it was for the, you know, the lulls that they were going to pound this guy with their vehicle. And it was just going to be funny. And they didn't care about what would actually happen to the human being they were crashing into. So to me, you can't give a person like that enough time. Let these assholes rot in prison for the rest of their lives. And let them be a shining example to any other teenagers who might think you could keep getting away with this stuff. You got to show them that they can. Tonight, Fox 5 takes you inside the patrol car to hear what exactly Jesus Ayala had to say to the arresting officer. By the way, this is Jesus Ayala on the left. His mother has said, I don't think God can forgive him for this. His mother has said, I don't understand why he would ever do this. On the other hand, the second teenager involved in this, the 16-year-old, his mother has said, you are spreading lies about my son. My son didn't do anything wrong. You have to hear my son's side of the story. One parent is taking some responsibility. The other parent clearly not doing so. All right, back to this. Ayala and his co-defendant, Zamir Keys, face 14 felony counts for the August 14th ambush. They left a retired police chief dead. Charges include murder, attempted murder, battery, and more. 
Today, Fox 5 learned they're that there in will it, stand trial on September 16th of next year. We also dug a little deeper into the grand jury transcripts and found some very telling video from the day of the defendant's arrest. Uh, this is the body cam. What's up, sir? You already found the person who did it? <laughs> I got him in my car. Keep blaming me. I got him in my car. You're listening to a conversation between he an thinks, accused killer. He thinks he can outsmart the cop. That's one of the most annoying things about this. And it's probably because he's gotten away with this so many times and just over and over. He even says at one point, he's like, it's a hit and run. I'll be out in a couple of weeks or whatever. Like, he's not taking it seriously at all. This is a guy who killed a man. And one of the officers arresting him. Jesus Ayala, then 17 years old, had just been taken into custody on murder charges. We got so much video surveillance, dude. Is that right? 100% is. He and his friend accused of burglarizing an elderly woman's home, stealing a car, Jesus. using it to run down two different cyclists and recording their actions on video. We found this video clip of one suspect taking a selfie in the passenger mirror among some far more troubling images presented to the grand jury. My God. They include you know, these are just people who were not scared of any repercussions from anything that they did, and they just terrorized the town for like seven hours. Uh, let's see if they have any more of the, um, yeah, they do. Here's some more of the in-dash or dash cam footage or maybe body cam footage of the cop. Uh, how long do you think I'm going to be in jail for? Hopefully for probably 20, 30 years. 20, 30 years? And I'm not lying, I'm not being dramatic, but... 20, 30 years? Hopefully, at least. Over a car crash? No, it's a lot more than that. Still, Ayala, at times, he doesn't believe seems it. almost unaware of the level of trouble he faces. You should buy me something to eat. What? Yeah, I, say, I say you should buy me something to eat. Something to eat? Why? I'm hungry. I'm hungry, too. Probably get us a meal. Nah. We we'll got some protein crackers. I'm good. Some wings slop that sounds good, and I haven't ate all in like three days. He jokes with the officer, <laughs> Jesus, calls him man. his new best friend, tells him he likes his gun. But the conversation keeps circling back to one topic, jail time. All right, so he's really sure that he's going to get back out. I think this is the part where he talks about But you said 20, 30 years? Hopefully. You think so? Yeah. You hope I do a real. Both? Not for real. Hey, not, but, but keep it hard. Like, like cops, like, like you can't lie like that. They, they like No, we're not, we're not allowed to. Yeah, I can't lie like that. There is one more thing the young suspect seems curious about. Oh boy. Do you think I'm gonna come out on the news? He says, Do you think I'm gonna come out of the news? Turns out yes. Yes is the answer to that question. And I'm glad they're making an example out of these teenagers. Maybe every other teenager will see this that is up to no good, Robin Cars, Kia Boys, all that crap, and realize, hey. I will actually get punished for this, and I will actually spend that 20 or 30 years behind bars with any luck. What do you think they should get? What's the right sentence for them? And why do we keep seeing this happening with younger people across the country? Let me know what you think.